Explosives have been used for centuries in warfare, mining, and construction. But have you ever wondered what makes an explosive? Well, explosive. The answer lies in the chemistry of explosives. Before we dive into the specifics, let's first review some basic chemistry concepts. Atoms are the building blocks of matter. They consist of a nucleus, which contains protons and neutrons and electrons that orbit the nucleus. When atoms combine, they form molecules. Molecules can be simple, like water, or complex, like proteins. Chemical reactions occur when molecules interact with each other, breaking and forming new bonds. In a case of explosives, these chemical reactions release a tremendous amount of energy in a very short amount of time, resulting in an explosion. So, what exactly happens during a chemical reaction that causes an explosion? Let's find out. There are two main types of explosives, low explosives and high explosives. Low explosives, like gunpowder, burn rather than explode. They are used in fireworks and firearms. High explosives, on the other hand, detonate with a shockwave that travels faster than the speed of sound. They are used in mining, demolition, and military applications. One of the most well-known high explosives is TNT, or trinitrotoluene. When TNT is detonated, it undergoes a rapid chemical reaction that releases a large amount of energy in the form of heat and gas. Another high explosive is C4, or Composition 4. It is commonly used by the military due to its stability and reliability. C4 is made up of a mixture of plastic binder, explosive, and other ingredients. When detonated, it produces a high-velocity shockwave that can destroy buildings and vehicles. The most powerful explosives, like nuclear bombs, release energy equivalent to millions of tons of TNT. Understanding the types of explosives is important for understanding how they work and how they can be used safely. Explosives work by undergoing a rapid chemical reaction that releases a large amount of energy in a short amount of time. The molecules in an explosive contain a lot of potential energy in the form of chemical bonds. When a spark or heat is applied to the explosive, it triggers the chemical reaction. The bonds between the atoms in the molecules break apart, releasing energy in the form of heat and gas. The specific chemical reactions that occur in an explosive depend on the type of explosive and its molecular structure. For example, nitrates, like those found in gunpowder, release energy when they break down into nitrogen gas, water vapor and carbon dioxide. TNT, on the other hand, releases energy when its nitro groups break apart forming nitrogen gas and carbon dioxide. C4 contains a mixture of explosive and plastic binder. When detonated, the explosive molecules break apart, releasing energy that causes the plastic binder to rapidly decompose and produce gas. Understanding the chemical reactions that occur in explosives is crucial for developing new explosives and improving their safety. The power of an explosive depends on several factors, including its chemical composition, physical form, and the conditions under which it is detonated. The chemical composition of an explosive determines the amount of energy that can be released during a chemical reaction. The physical form of an explosive can also affect its power. For example, finely ground powders can burn more quickly and release more energy than larger particles. The conditions under which an explosive is detonated can also affect its power. A shockwave from a nearby explosion can cause a secondary explosion, increasing the overall power of the blast. The surrounding environment can also affect the power of an explosion. For example, a blast in an enclosed space, like a building, can cause more damage than a blast in an open field. Scientists use computer simulations to model and predict the power of explosions under different conditions. This information is used to develop safer explosives and to design structures that can withstand the force of an explosion. Understanding the factors that affect explosive power is crucial for using explosives safely and effectively in mining, construction, and demolition. Explosives are powerful and potentially dangerous materials that require strict safety precautions. Workers who handle explosives must wear protective gear, like helmets, goggles, and gloves, to minimize the risk of injury. Explosives must be carefully inspected and handled to ensure they are not damaged or contaminated. The amount of explosive use must be carefully measured and controlled to prevent accidental detonation. Warning signs and barriers must be used to keep enough hours personnel away from explosive materials. Explosives must be set up and detonated by trained professionals who follow strict safety protocols. In demolition and mining applications, explosives are often used to bring down buildings or remove rock. These operations must be carefully planned and executed to minimize the risk of injury or damage to surrounding structures. After an explosion, workers must carefully clean up the area and dispose of any remaining explosive materials. Following safety procedures and protocols is crucial for preventing accidents and ensuring the safe use of explosives. 
By understanding the chemistry of explosives, the factors that affect their power, and the safety precautions required for their use, we can harness the power of explosives while minimizing the risks.